Alright, hope it works this time. Okay, so I made a video earlier that I uploaded. The link is right here. Um, this video talks about, you know, the, the system I have right now. It also talks about what I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build a thermoelectric water cooler. So it's like a three to five gallon water cooler that will dispense water whenever I want cold water just to drink on it. And um, I may I may have mentioned that I'm looking for the problem I'm having right now is finding a good thermostat for it to switch off the circuit whenever the water gets cold enough. Um, I mentioned that, that I had two ideas so far. One was going to be a waterproof thermostat. Those, that would be pretty much perfect except for the fact that it's going to cost about 80 to 90 dollars. I am not going to fucking do that. Um, the second idea I had was to take a regular refrigerator thermostat, put it in a waterproof container, and submerge it under the water with wires coming out that connect in series with my whole circuit so that it would just switch off whenever the water's cold enough. Turns out, I mean, I already knew this before I even had this idea, but that's really dangerous. It's probably going to short out as soon as water leaks into the waterproof container. And um, finding the container itself would have been just as expensive as trying to find... Yeah, that, that was just going to be too much. Just too much danger, too much effort. I don't need to do any of that, it turns out. I found something called a cold control kit. Um, if you look at refrigerator parts stores or just Google the word, you'll find these things varying from like somewhere between like 8 and $20. They're thermostats that you can use to replace n your thermostat in your fridge no matter what kind of model or serial number you have on your refrigerator. Basically unwire your old thermostat and mount this new one on the outside of your refrigerator and it has a thermocouple that goes inside your fridge that knows and it will tell the thermostat how hot or cold the refrigerator is. And that's what I'm going to be using. Basically I'm building a do-it-yourself refrigerator and that's precisely what I need and it's I've got one off the internet for including shipping about fifteen dollars the whole thing was eleven dollars without shipping but I still think that's a damn good alternative to anything I'd come up with earlier that's what I'm going to be using okay here's the parts that I've had ordered so far um, I have a 12 volt 12 and a half amp uh, power supply that's should be coming in the mail in a couple days. The thermoelectric units, each rated at 136 watts, um, rated at 12 volts. Those will be coming in the same place. I ordered those on the same day. Um, I also got some thermal grease. It's basically glue that conducts elect conducts heat. So I'll be uh, gluing heat sinks onto both sides of my Peltier unit with this thermal glue type stuff. It's some kind of aluminum compound or something like that. It should work really well. Um, I only got a little bit of it, which ought to be enough for me. Um, I also have just recently ordered three aluminum heat sinks. They're all at different sizes, so I'll be able to figure out what's going to be the best size for each side of the Peltier unit, because I need to heat sink both sides. But I especially need to heat sink the hot side, and I'm going to use a fan to cool off the hot side. Um, these are all like computer parts. This should work pretty well. Um, one other thing I'm looking into doing is using the toilet repair parts to turn it into something that will refill the water every time it dispenses water just like your toilet tank works. I'm not going to worry about that until later, until I've got most of the electricity thing figured out. I'll worry about water flow when I've mastered the idea of building this thing in the first place. If I feel like having it being able to refill water by itself, that's, that's a little gratuitous and unnecessary, but I think it'd be really fucking cool anyway. Um, that's what I have so far, and uh, that's just the update. I'd like to share. Still working on the whole thing. One other cool thing, uh, I'm in a school, a trade school to become an electrician, 
So I raised my hand before class started today and was going to ask my teacher about thermoelectricity. Turns out he doesn't know anything about it, so what I'm doing might be beyond me. And uh, that's it for